It's fall, it's gloomy outside, I've changed out my nail polish, I'm changing out my bedding. What I love is that I never have to change out my mattress. Today's video is brought to you by Birch Living. Birch Living is a premier mattress in a box company. And they are having a fantastic Labor Day sale where you can get 25% off a mattress that's going to be shipped right to your home and two free pillows. And don't worry, if you're watching this after the Labor Day promotion, you can still get the regular 20% off via my Parisian Farm Girl link and two free Eco Rest pillows. What I love about my Birch mattress is that there's no off guessing during the night. So if you're like me and you put your phone in the other room, because you're trying to sleep without any interference, you want to sleep on a mattress that is healthy, made with organic, sustainable materials with no off-gassing during the night. You've seen the video where we unpacked ours. You've seen the video where we took it up to my mom's house and she unpacked it before she had even unpacked her moving boxes right there in the living room. She loves hers. I love mine. You are going to love yours. So visit birchliving.com forward slash Parisian Farm Girl. Take advantage of the 25% off for Labor Day and two free EcoRest pillows. And don't worry, if you miss the timeline, you'll still receive that special 20% off, two free EcoRest pillows. Visit birchliving.com forward slash Parisian Farm Girl today. Lovelies, I'm Angela. This is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue. Welcome to the channel. The season is trying to change. I'm trying to fight it with everything that I have. Summer is my favorite season of the year. July is my favorite month of the year. July seems like ages ago when it's like what? I don't know, five weeks, five weeks ago. So what we're doing in our house is we're making the rounds and trying to get everything in order because what I do uh, for the school year is I feel like I'm expecting a baby and I go into this crazy nesting instinct and I try to get everything done. I try to get everything right with our little world so that we can start homeschool and sort of feel like we, <laughs> we have a handle on things before we begin. Now what's crazy this year is um, I have my next trip to Paris in October, and that is in five weeks. Well, the, the tour is in six weeks, but that week before, Sorry. I'm taking the family with me to Paris. So I am thrifting for suitcases and buying neck pillows and luggage tags and doing all the things that you do before an international trip for yourself and doing it for eight people which is really intense and obviously very blessed to do it, very excited. I feel like this is really special. This is a dream come true to be able to take my people with me to my favorite place, um, but <laughs> it is a whole lot of effort. And of course we have a new calf on the farm and it's time to harvest and put the garden to rest and there's a lot going on. Lots of exciting things, lots of really beautiful things. The school year has started, so I am very pleased once again to be able to homeschool my children. And you've heard me talk about that in the past, how much I love it, how much I believe in it. And I know more and more of you are choosing that for your children. It's not right um, for everybody, but I know it's becoming really, really popular. And so, of course, maybe we'll flash back in this video and I will encourage you here and there with some old clips from what I've had to say on the subject. I try not to say too much because it really is a personal decision for people, um, but it's really a beautiful thing for us. This year we have some new things. I have children in soccer. Um, Amelie has a new keyboard and she's pleased with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put the link in this video description because I know I'm going to get questions about it. It's beautiful. The sound is incredible and she's able to have it in her room and it looks chic and stylish in her space all the curriculum is here we actually you know just sort of messed around with it this week but we are officially starting on monday so this video will air friday and we're going to start in a few days on monday which is very exciting and daunting and humbling and all the things so i'm trying to clean and get things organized get things in place we have um, a beef cow coming <laughs> this weekend. So Joel and I have 
the huge task of like, you know, defrosting the freezers and getting those all ready. We are putting up a shed in the back garden for me. So my dream greenhouse out here is still a long way off, but we are busy putting together this shed that is proving to be a total pain. Just order one from Home Depot. Oh my goodness, it's awful. But of course I'm insisting on being creative and I went and bought 12 by 12 um, concrete squares and I'm painting them navy and cream and you know trying to make a space for me because I have a lot of my own tools. I had a, a lot of my stuff and I don't want to go through the garage and other people's the way other people do things. I like my stuff tidy and organized. So I'm, we're trying to create a space for mom so that when I'm doing projects, I can get to my stuff. When I want to start my seed trays uh, in February, I can find my seed trays and not stand on my head in the garage and they take up a lot of space. So it will be nice for, um, for the guys to have my stuff out of their space. But this shed is proving to be a beast. So I will be, um, very glad when it's done. What else is going on? Uh, the boys and I, we, we built Lego trays. I know some of you saw that on Instagram and that was really fun. I was really proud of myself. I had a lot of fun doing that. I think I might have had more fun. I don't know, they had a good time. The three of us had a wonderful time making these Lego trays. So the idea is that um, there are big sheets of plywood so I just went to Home Depot. I didn't take my camera, which is so bad because I went to Home Depot and bought these. Um, they're smaller, goodness, are they like five by three sheets of plywood and casters. And I bought trim to put around the edges so that the Legos wouldn't come flying off. And the idea is um, that you can slide them under the bed. So the way my kids play Legos is that they put down a quilt or they have their rug in their room or whatever and that's where this huge pile of Legos is and they call it uh, the junkyard. So the idea is that the junkyard stays on these big sheets with casters that can be rolled out from under the bed which in theory <laughs> as mom is trying to keep a tidy house and teach the children to be responsible they can um, play and still rummage and do all those things that you need to do when you play Lego um, and then slide them under the bed at night so we can walk through the room. It was fun. I think we're going to build a couple smaller ones because uh, there's still some Lego that are not accounted for uh, that are still in Rubbermaid tubs, but it was great. They got to learn carpentry. They got to um, help with the saw and learn how to operate the saw. I did the operating, but they helped, you know, turn it on the 45 and everything and learn how to use caulk to run a caulk gun and to wipe it clean and make it look nice and paint. So anything that you see, I'm right behind the camera. I'm hands on, um, but I think they learned a lot. And so I sort of feel like in some of the things we're doing around here, you know, like Amelie unpacking the piano and getting it set up and the boys building their Lego trays and even helping with the shed out back. Like homeschooling has already begun and I have spoken a little bit, like I said, on homeschool on the channel. And it's, our philosophy is this, you know, Charlotte Mason sort of idea that education is an atmosphere. So I really love to see the children already hands on. Um, we have other things going on, Parisian Farm Girl, the brand just opened uh, a new online store, which I know some of you have been shopping, and that's very fun. Um, and so now I get to teach them how to, you know, measure packages and weigh packages and print UPS labels and do things really um, beautifully because when my customers open their box, I want them to be very pleased. This isn't just, um, you know, throwing packages together, which I've, you know, sent things before, like to Shay, you guys have seen when I tried to pack stuff for Shay and we've sort of, we've taken this to the next level and we're, I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of the store. I'm proud of our inventory. I'm proud to be able to go to France twice a year and restock that inventory. So lots of exciting things happening around here. For me as mom, that means I have to be on my game. So I am going to do another day in the life and just show you sort of what my routine is right now. I'm up very early working out. Um, the, I hate to say this, the older I get, the more I see that working out is just so, it's so important. I have a lot of energy, 
but when I work out, I have even more. So it's that beautiful like push-pull where you, you give and then you get, which is incredible. Um, and we've been talking about that a lot on the podcast too, too. So definitely tune in to Homemaker Chic if you're not. But that's sort of just what's been going on around here. I've been carrying my camera everywhere I go, um, and I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you as we kick off this new season. It's going to be a beautiful season on the channel. Obviously, we're gonna watch the garden make its incredible changes, and that will be sad and beautiful and incredible. At the same time, we're gonna go to France. We're going to launch a new magazine and decorate the house for the seasons and it looks like we might actually make some progress upstairs in my bathroom i know you guys are like oh the bathroom blah 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 uh, <laughs> but yes we have been working on it for like three years but no we haven't been working on it for three years we just stop and start and then stop for six months and then do a little something so it, it looks like we might get some momentum after we get back from Paris, but I'm grateful. Uh, I have my family. I have two working bathrooms. Would I love a master bathroom for mom? Yes. Will I be very happy to finally hang my gorgeous um, House of Hackney wallpaper? Yes, I will be very happy. Uh, but for now, there's so much to do. There's so much to be grateful for, and I just wanted to hop on this first week of September and sort of give you a pulse on kind of what we've been up to and what's happening. And I, it's a beautiful season change. It's going to be incredible and I'm really glad that you're here. A bientôt.